my students this is uh, still uh, week 11 lecture 1 uh, this is Wednesday and this is part 2 of lecture 1 so this is where I stopped in the previous uh, video okay this is an example of uh, question that will ask you to calculate uh, cost for a job so let's see uh, if you can understand this question then it is easy for you to to answer uh, any question related to uh, calculation of uh, job costing okay see here job wr53 at a company required 200 dollar of direct material and 10 direct labor hours at 15 dollar per hour estimated total overhead for the year was six seven hundred and sixty thousand dollar and estimated direct labor hours were twenty thousand what will be recorded as the cost of job wr53 so remember a job is like a product or maybe a service so if somebody asks you to calculate cost for a job it means that that person asks you to calculate cost for a product so what is product cost or manu cost to manufacture a product always remember to manufacture a product the cost is equal to direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus overhead cost so to calculate cost for job wr53 you have to add direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus overhead cost so let's see how to answer this question okay so see here the first one is to calculate cost for this job you have to show the direct material cost so the direct material cost from the question is 200 dollar and then you have to show the direct labor cost how much is the direct labor cost the direct labor cost is equal to 15 dollar labor cost per hour times 10 direct labor hours because to to finish this job uh, the workers has to work 10 hours so 15 dollar per hour time 10 hours so the direct labor cost equal to 150 dollar now how to calculate the manufacturing overhead cost so there are two steps that you have to do to calculate the manufacturing overhead cost for this job the first step is you have to calculate the pohr remember in the previous lecture in the previous slide i have explained about pre pohr or predetermined overhead rate the way to calculate pohr is uh, estimated or budgeted overhead cost divided by estimated or budgeted uh, allocation base so in this sample question the estimated or budgeted overhead cost is seven hundred and sixty thousand dollar and the budgeted or estimated uh, allocation base is twenty thousand labor hours twenty thousand direct labor hours so predetermined overhead rate equal to seven hundred and sixty thousand dollar divided by twenty thousand labor hours equal to thirty eight dollar per hour so that is the second step you have to calculate the pohr and then this the first that is the first step the second step is you have now you can calculate the applied manufacturing overhead so how to calculate the applied manufacturing overhead the applied manufacturing overhead equal to pohr which is the 38 dollar times the actual allocation base in this for this job the actual allocation base is 10 labor hours so 38 dollar times 10 labor hours equal to 380 dollar 
So the total cost for this job is direct material cost $200 plus direct labor cost $150 plus the manufacturing overhead cost uh, $380. So total cost equal to $730. That is, that is the way to calculate the cost for a job. Okay, the next slide is about the uh, flow of cost. Uh, so, this is not very important. The most important thing about this topic is you have to know how to... You have to know which companies or businesses that should use job order costing system. And the second thing is you have to know how to what uh, sorry the second thing is what are the documents uh, used in job order costing system and number three is uh, how to calculate uh, cost for a job that is number three and the next thing that you have to know i think most uh, important thing is problem of overhead application Okay. The difference between overhead cost applied to work in process and actual overhead cost of a period is referred to as either under applied or over applied overhead. So the thing is like this. Uh, when you do calculation for cost for a job, uh, remember when you calculate the overhead cost for the job, it is based on uh, or, or calculated using uh, budgeted data. When you want to calculate manufacturing overhead cost for a job, you use predetermined overhead rate. The data to calculate the predetermined overhead rate are data coming from the budget or estimate. That is the, the issue. At the end of the year, you have two data related to manufacturing overhead. First, the data about manufacturing overhead that you have calculated using the budgeted data uh, that data is called applied manufacturing overhead data and another data about overhead that you will get at the end of the year is the actual manufacturing overhead cost that that actual manufacturing overhead cost are coming from your journal and ledger when you uh, you record your business expenses and costs in the journal and ledger so you will get a, a number at the end of the year uh, the number for actual manufacturing overhead so the at the end of the year sometimes the the applied overhead cost is higher compared to the actual overhead cost so that if if that is the situation we call it over applied of overhead and if you have a business then you you see that at the end of the year the applied overhead number uh, is lower compared to the actual overhead number then we call the situation as under applied overhead so how to how to deal with these differences Okay, let's see. Okay, this is an example. Let's say, pay company's actual overhead for the year was $650,000 with a total of 170,000 direct labor hours work on the job. How much total overhead was applied to pay company's jobs during the year? Use pair companies predetermined overhead rate of four dollar per direct labor hour. So this is a, a situation. At the end of the year, pair companies found that the actual overhead for the business is six hundred and seven six hundred and fifty thousand dollar. That is the actual overhead paid by the business during the year. And uh, the business has another data about overhead, which is called the applied overhead. So this question asks you to calculate uh, how much uh, applied overhead has been recorded. Okay, so 
to calculate the applied overhead, total applied overhead for the year, you have to to use this formula. POH applied overhead equal to POHR times actual direct labor hours. So applied overhead in this situation is four dollar. The POHR is four dollar times actual labor hour during the year is 170,000 direct labor hour. So, it is equal to $680,000. Okay, so now, applied overhead is higher compared to the actual overhead. Actual overhead only $650,000. So, the, the situation is called over-applied overhead. Okay, what will the company do? There's a difference, 30,000 over applied. So what should the company do? So, okay, this is another example. Tiger Incorporated had actual manufacturing overhead cost of $1,210,000 uh, $1, and a predetermined overhead rate of $4 per machine hour. Tiger Incorporated worked 290,000 machine hours during the period. Manufacturing overhead. Tiger's manufacturing overhead is. Okay, how to calculate the over applied or under applied? So, you have seen the way to calculate that in the previous slide. So, see it now. Again. So, if you want to know the amount of under applied or over applied, first, you have to calculate the applied overhead during the year. So, applied overhead equal to POHR times the actual labor hour or this situation, the actual machine hour. So, POHR is $4. See the blue box? POHR is $4 per hour. The actual machine hour is $290,000. Sorry, 290,000 hours. So, the applied overhead for the year is $1,160,000. So, the situation is called under-applied overhead because the applied overhead is lower compared to the actual overhead. So, how much lower? The amount is $50,000 lower. The applied overhead is $50,000 lower compared to the actual overhead. So, the answer for this simple question is the situation is $50,000 under applied overhead. So, uh, for pair companies, the difference 30,000 uh, has to be disposed, has to be written off. Be because in if you have a business, at the end of the year, the actual data is the correct data. So the actual data in this situation, the 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 applied data is less compared to the actual data. So when you close your account, you have to dispose the thirty thousand difference. You have to make it equal. The applied overhead must equal to the actual overhead because the actual number is the correct one. Applied overhead is the estimate one. So, you have to do something to dispose the difference. So, there are two methods that can be used to dispose the amount of over or under applied overhead. And the first method is called, uh, is this way. See the left side, uh, the, the yellow box in the left side of this slide. The first method that can be used to dispose the $30,000 difference is you have to allocate the $30,000 into three accounts. Work in process account, cost of goods sold account and finished goods account. Or the second method is easier. The second method is you can uh, dispose the $30,000 difference by close the amount directly to cost of goods sold account uh, that's all you have to know for this course if somebody asks you how to uh, to dispose the amount of over or under allocated of overhead uh, so if somebody asks you that kind of question then your answer is 
there are two methods that can be used to dispose the amount of over or under allocation of overhead. The first method is to to allocate the difference to three different account, to three different account, work in process account, cost of sold account, or finish and finished goods account. That method is shown in the yellow box in the left side of this slide. The second method that can be used to dispose the over or under applied of overhead is to close the amount of difference in cost of goods sold account only. Okay. Okay, this is the detail about that. Don't have to worry about the detail. You don't have to know about that. You just have to know if there is a question as you how, then you have to know how to answer the two methods. Okay, don't have to worry about this. Okay, this one. Uh, this one before we finish this is the thing that you have to do job or the costing in service companies okay this is the thing that you have to know job or the costing can be used job or the costing system can be used in manufacturing businesses and also in service businesses uh, for manufacturing businesses like i said earlier one example that i mentioned is Let's say you have a construction business. So you can use job order costing system to calculate the cost for every building that you you make. You make. Uh, and this, the example that we have seen uh, earlier is, let's say you have uh, for a shipping vessels business. When the, if the ship, the business build the ship, according to the request uh, and specification made, made by a customer then that business uh, can use job order costing system to calculate the cost of each job or each ship uh, what else uh, aircraft manufacturer uh, they have to use uh, job order costing so and also you have to aware that job order costing system also can be used by service businesses the example that i made uh, earlier is for a catering business uh, if you have a catering business each catering service is a job so you can use job order costing to calculate the cost for each catering business uh, if uh, for a, a law firm a lawyer firm they should use job order costing system because each client uh, we uh, is different it's unique they when they want to calculate cost for each client that they provide service they should use job order costing system uh, Another service business is hospital. Uh, each patient is unique. So for for a hospital, each patient is a job. They have to calculate the cost for each patient differently. Uh, catering business. I have mentioned catering business before. If you have a laundry business, laundry business also should use uh, job service. Uh, sorry job order costing system okay that's it that's the next one this is the last slide okay now uh, now uh, if you use job order costing system uh, there are many things uh, in the cost calculation can be done using using it it uh, information technology you can use computer you can use software uh, the use of internet uh, uh, technology 
can help you to do the calculation faster and and less error okay you can see here you can use uh, electronic data inter interchange web-based programming like xml etc barcoding so these things the information technology can help us to do the job costing system uh, quickly and efficiently and with less error that's all for topic 7 thank you very much do not forget to write your name and metric number in the comment section